Hey, it's Matt from Charisma Digital Marketing. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through responsive search ads. I'm going to go over what they are, my best practices for them, and essentially how to write and create responsive search ads inside of Google Ads for best results. So to start off, what is a responsive search ad? And a responsive search ad is the thing that replaced expanded text ads. And essentially, it's an ad that allows you to enter in a whole bunch of headlines and descriptions. And essentially, Google rotates all of these headlines and descriptions and tries to find the highest click-through rate uh, for your actual ad and campaign and it does a really really good job at this initially it didn't do very well it would just kind of find one combination it kind of liked and just went with this but now Google's AI has really gotten a lot better with it it's really good at finding combinations that deliver very high click-through rates with very high conversion rates as well and I absolutely love them and compared to expanded text ads they are a lot easier to be successful with because responsive search ads just test literally everything where expanded text ads really needed uh, you to go in, A, B test every single ad. Maybe you'll see a slight increase with one, a slight decrease with another one. Uh, with responsive search ads, it, it takes all this homework off your plate and it automatically does it. It's very, very nice and user friendly. That being said, it does take a little bit more time to use and create a responsive search ad. It has many more headlines and descriptions that take a lot longer to fill out. But that being said, it's almost automatic after that point. You don't really have to go back in A-B test nearly as much as expanded text ads, which is really nice. And it makes the Google Ads experience of writing ads a lot easier for most people. And due to the effectiveness of responsive search ads, I kind of saw this coming for a while. They actually replaced expanded text ads as of June 30th, 2022. Uh, you're no longer able to create or edit expanded text ads uh, just because responsive search ads for the vast, vast majority of campaigns and people are just so much better. Google wanted to get rid of that uh, and I, I can understand why do I like them taking all the options off the table for ex expanded text ads no but I can see why they did it just because responsive search ads are so effective for many many campaigns essentially what are the benefits of responsive search ads and there's so many uh, realistically they allow you to create flexible ads they automatically a B test uh, you can save a whole bunch of time by just essentially putting a whole bunch of headlines descriptions and Google tests everything there uh, you can tailor your headlines and descriptions to your customers locations regular locations and locations of interest you can reach more potential customers with multiple headlines and descriptions there's just so much more ability for Google's AI to figure out what your customer actually wants to see and just provide a better overall experience for your customer when they see your ad. There's just a lot of benefits. I really recommend using responsive search ads for every single campaign. Uh, they're absolutely phenomenal. That being said, how do we go about creating a responsive search ad inside Google Ads? And what we do is we head over to our campaign and we're going to come to our pool installation campaign here and then we're going to come down and hit on our pool installation ad group. And as you can see inside of our, once we click on ads here, all of our ads pop up. We have a call ad and two responsive search ads. For best practices, I would recommend having three responsive search ads in every single ad group. This really allows Google a whole bunch of information and headlines and descriptions to test with. This may take some time, but it is definitely worth it uh, as you can easily find winners and losers in this and it really makes your account much more effective and is able to really deliver higher click-through rates which lead to a lower cost per click because your quality score goes up and really allows you to generate a lot more leads for the same amount of cost or less cost which is nice so how do we go about creating our responsive search ad and what we have to do is click on the blue big blue plus icon here and then hit responsive search ad and as you can see this will pop up and if you don't already have a final URL in here, you're going to type in the actual domain name you actually want to send traffic to. So for this example, it's titled pools. And then we're going to create a display path. And essentially, a display path is a light, nice little customization after the domain name for each and every ad group. Uh, a lot of people don't take the time to actually do this. I highly recommend doing it just because it makes you look a little bit more customized. And the more customized we can make your ad and help with the customer's problem, the more likely they are to click on our ad because they feel more personalized towards them uh, as opposed to other ads, which is nice. So uh, for most display paths, I just re generally recommend putting in the predominant keyword of your ad group so for this ad group our main keyword was pool installation so i put pool installation inside here now for headlines i generally recommend two default headlines one is the name of the company so the name of the company here for our example is title pools and then pool installation or in-ground pool, pool installation this is the actual main keyword inside of your 
uh, ad group, what the one you're actually targeting. And these two things really allow Google to just test a whole bunch of stuff like in-ground pool installation or pool installation. That keyword can be thrown in just about anywhere in this actual ad and it'll make sense and it'll look good. Uh, that being said, we need to include calls to action. So get a free quote, um, schedule a free assessment today. You know, you could have call now for a free quote. There's just so many calls to actions you can put in here. I always recommend having three to four calls to action. Uh, this just allows your customer to understand what happens after they actually click on the ad, what they're gonna get. So maybe for a pool company, it's, you know, schedule a free assessment, get a free estimate, have someone come out to your house. These things really help with making the customer understand uh, what they're actually gonna get once they click on your app, which is nice and it helps with your conversion rate. That being said, other things you really wanna focus on are figuring out what the customer's problem is, solving it, and then giving them a call to action. So that's essentially the formula for our ads. Identify the customer's problem. So say they want pool installation, you could have looking for pool installation, looking to you know build your dream backyard pool, uh, looking for a backyard pool, local pool installation, certified in ground pools we're identifying the problem here in these ones and then with the actual we can solve your problem you know to your warranty award-winning pools uh, you could have you know bill uh, we could have your backyard pool ready in like two weeks whatever it is solve the problem and then in the final one have a call to action which is you know get a free quote now schedule a free assessment call now for a free quote uh, there's just a lot of stuff you can do here and for every business that's going to be a little different but that's generally the formula we follow identify the problem give them a reason to you know pick us so maybe it's you know two-year warranty award-winning pool certified installers and then a call to action what happens once they click the ad and then after we fill out all of these uh, as you can see here, we have pool installation, certified in-ground pools, pool companies near me. Um, and I recommend, by the way, filling out all of these. Yeah, I know it will take a little bit of time and, everyone, and so many people skip this step, but please fill out all of these. Uh, it is worth the actual time. I believe there's nine of 15 headlines, not nine, 15 out of 15 headlines. Please fill out all of those. Um, it really does make a difference. It allows Google to really A-B test stuff and really have a high click-through rate. The next thing is the actual descriptions. And this is the part where we wanna go more in depth with what we have to offer and why they should pick us. Please don't just boast about yourself. I see a lot of companies do this. They'll just say best pool company, your best HVAC company. And it really doesn't give the customer any reason to buy from you. So don't, don't say best pool company or we've been in business 20 years. M maybe if that's relevant, maybe if it's like, uh, trust is a really big issue in your industry. Maybe you could put tw uh, 20 years of experience, but for most industries, you don't want to boast about yourself. Uh, for this one, I would probably change this to certified professional in-ground pool installation, you know, maybe uh, dozens of award-winning pools, uh, call now for a free quote, again, ending it off with a call to action. I always like doing that. Uh, down here, award-winning pools, certified installers, two-year warranty, and dozens of happy clients. We wanna give them more reasons as to why they should pick us. And this will definitely help with increasing the click-through rate, which brings your uh, quality score up, which lowers your cost per click, uh, which allows you to have more leads inside your account and leads to more account success. That being said, you're allowed four descriptions here. Please hit the plus button and fill out all of these uh, it's just a good way to actually go about increasing your click-through rate and allowing Google to test more options inside your account to get you better results once you have all of this set up you can also have uh, URL options which if you have any tracking template most businesses don't need to actually worry about this. Uh, but if you do have a tracking template, you can add it in here, uh, but it's not too big of a deal. You don't really have to worry about that. For extensions, I recommend setting these up at the actual campaign level. They're much easier to manage that way. I don't like setting them up at the ad level individually. It just takes too much time. And I would suggest just setting it at the campaign level. Once all of this is set, and one thing I would recommend is here are all your keywords up here. So you can actually go over, look through these just to make sure your headlines kind of match up with them and make sure they're actually answering the actual problem for your customer. Uh, you can look at your ad here. And you can also look at the desktop version as well. A great thing you can do is look at the actual ad strength here. It's not always super relevant, but Google does a very good job at understanding what makes people click. So I would take this with a grain of salt. It is a good thing to look at just to make sure your ad is on point. And I generally recommend going for at least good or excellent ad strength just to make sure your ad is going to do well in the actual auction house. That being said, once all of the headlines and descriptions are filled in, all you have to do is come down here to save ad and you're good to go. And your ad will be saved and created. And as you can see, our new ad has popped up down here and we're good to go. That being said, please create three responsive search ads for every single ad group and your ads will do a lot better. Now, I do have a few tips for actual ad copy inside of Google Ads when writing it. 
uh, I always recommend thinking from the customer's perspective and how you're going to solve their problems. They don't really care about you. They care about their own problems because people are selfish, let's be honest. Uh, but if you can actually think from the customer's perspective, that's really going to help with click-through rates because people are selfish. They want their problem solved and they don't really care about you. And if you can answer their problem and give them a way to solve their problem, they're going to be much more likely to click on your ad. Another thing is use message match throughout the ad. So if you have a keyword that says pool installation, make sure the actual ad says pool installation somewhere in it and make sure the actual landing page says pool installation in it as well. Don't make the mistake of so many companies that they'll put just pool installation and then they'll have an ad that just says pool installation company, something very generalized and then they just send them to the home page of their website. These don't have a great message match and we want everything to really line up. And the more customized you can make your message throughout the keyword, throughout the ad and throughout the landing page, the more likely you are to have a higher quality score, higher landing page experience and have much more success than opposed to all your competition who just generally throw a whole bunch of keywords into one ad group, uh, just have a couple generalized ads and send them to the home page of their website. You want to make it as customized to the problem as possible. And this will definitely help with helping with click through rates and lowering costs. Another thing is keep it simple when it comes to language. Don't overcomplicate this. Use grade eight language. They actually did a study on this. Even people buying super high end cars and you think all these people are really smart. When they go to their website, they still use grade eight language. They don't use super complex words. If you use a lot of complex words, you're going to lose people because it makes them think and it creates cognitive load. And generally, they're just looking for the simplest solution out there. So don't make the language super complicated. Don't use super long words. Uh, make sure you get to the point very quickly. That's what I would recommend. Also, check for spelling mistakes. I see this quite often. Uh, you can use like a free program like Grammarly, just checking for spelling mistakes. Make sure you look professional um, and make sure you actually don't have any spelling mistakes in your ad copy. Another thing is stand out. So I would recommend for everyone uh, in Google Ads to actually look at their competition. Now, you don't have to click on their ads don't be mean, uh, but actually go in, look at the actual competition, see what they're doing. Most of their, their copy is very generalized. And it just says, you know, pool installation or track installation. It doesn't actually give the problem or what the actual person is looking for. So if you can stand out in any way, it really helps with click-through rate and getting your ad seen. Another reason is give them a reason to click. So like I said before, in the second part of our ad copy formula, we have the actual identify problem, give them a reason to buy, and then call to action. Give them a reason to click is the same thing as give them a reason to buy. Uh, you know, maybe it's two year warranty, maybe it's award winning pools, maybe it's we can have your pool done in like two weeks, whatever it is, give them a reason to click, make sure there, there's a reward at the end of this, as opposed to just, you know, pools for sale, that's just too generalized, and it doesn't give them a reason to click. So always give them a reason to click inside your ad. Another thing is take up all the space you're given, make sure you use all your extensions, make sure you use all your headlines and descriptions, make your ad as big as possible, because the bigger we can make it, the more likely it is to be seen, the more likely it is to be seen, the more likely it is to be clicked on. And the higher the click-through rate you have, the higher the quality score is going to be, and that reduces cost per click, which is just fantastic and it leads to a lot more account success. Now, also, like I said before, add multiple calls to actions, call now, free quote today, instant response. This just allows Google to cycle through a whole bunch of stuff and see what your customers actually like in terms of call to action. So maybe some people or your customers uh, really just prefer calling you instead of, you know, having an email inquiry. Uh, it really, this is just a basic thing we do for every single campaign, add multiple calls to action. This really helps with click-through rate. Things to also consider, your first ad will more than likely be a loser. So don't get upset when if one ad doesn't work out well, uh, most ads are losers. Uh, the thing is just keep trying and trying and trying. You will find a winner eventually. And it is you know up to chance to somewhat on how well your audience recognizes the ad and actually clicks on it. Uh, but keep testing and within a month or two, you should have a very good ad and with a high click through rate, which will help with your account success and getting more leads and making more money. Uh, also thing to note when testing these ads, A-B testing does take time. So don't be in a mad rush for coming up with this winning ad and you know, like, oh, it's got 10 clicks. It hasn't converted, you know, get rid of it. You know, give it a decent amount of data. Don't go with just 10 clicks on an ad. You know, maybe 50 to 100 clicks for one ad is probably where you want to be at before determining whether or not it's a winner or a loser. Uh, so don't be too hasty in trying to make decisions and move things around. If you don't have enough data, you're going to make poor decisions and that's going to lead to poor account management, which will lead to a lot of terrible results for you. And uh, it, it's just not a good place to be. So as much as I love moving things around and being quick, it does take time. So let it take its time. And the final note is 
co good copy and coming up with these headlines and descriptions does take a lot of time. And I know a lot of people go, well, I just need it. I just need Google ads up and running now. And just, just put four headlines. It's like, I would much rather take a few days to get the ad copy right, to make sure that everything's set up properly before launching the account, uh, than just going in there half to ass and losing a whole bunch of money. So please take the time to write good headlines, good descriptions, and your account will be much more likely to be successful in the long run and early in its account life as well. So if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about responsive search ads inside Google Ads, leave them down in the comment section down below. I'd be happy to answer them. Other than that, you guys have a wonderful day and take care.